Hey guys, here is part 5, which is the last part of our trip through Demon Souls level 3 part 2, or the Fool's Idol Archstone. Um, here you can see we're continuing after we had finished killing the guys around the second part of the heart and picked up a stony soldier soul, and then after that we drop down onto this bridge here, and basically what we're going to do in this video is just make our way um, to the boss. Uh, up the little ledge you cannot shield and climb up that so you're just going to have to walk and your character will automatically go up there. Um, I chose not to summon this person even though I was very tempted to because we were recording and I felt that it was unfair to the person uh, in this situation to not really know that you know, we had plans for what we were doing, we needed to communicate, and I didn't want someone to have to you know, tag along with us and not be in the know, so to speak, so I didn't summon them. Um, and you can see that we're going down the bridge, and this is actually part of the shortcut that I think I've mentioned in the previous video, that you're able to go straight through from the beginning of the archstone where you're summoned, and you can go straight through and come into what Kurohad calls a Colosseum, which is right here uh, in this little safe walkway behind the railing, and then after that you will just follow the pathway uh, up until the boss, so that's what we're doing here. Um, you're gonna go down the steps, though, which is, you know, as I said, what we are doing, and you're gonna see, you know, some blood, some monsters. And do be careful that you don't get ambushed by gargoyles, that you don't get knocked off by the monsters. And this is also applicable for when you are in the boss fight, which is against the man eater, uh, and he is, you know, essentially um, a giant gargoyle and he has two forms. You know, you'll take him out once and then uh, you'll have to finish him off. But here is another stony soldier soul and into this giant heart area in the red room. Um, you're gonna see a lot of the bug guys. I have mistakenly said that uh, they looked like scorpions. That was my bad. They look more like centipedes or millipedes uh, with faces on them. But anyways, you can pick up several items here. Most of them are soldier stone. There is a ring of avarice, and then there is uh, a couple of items that you'll want to pick up. There's some equips near the end. Uh, and I may include some more details on them in a future post. Um, this update is just going to revolve around how we get from taking out the second part of the heart and going straight to the boss. So we're going up the steps here and you're going to see us go through into the other part of the Colosseum. Uh, keep in mind that if you are coming here a second time that uh, you're going to see a very very long staircase here in just a second. And uh, in one of the previous videos we had taken out a stronger monster that was glowing red and you may see him as we go up onto uh, the longer flight of stairs just past this and he uh, it's kind of an unexpected visitor there because I wasn't expecting him to be there since we had taken him out in a different place but he will summon there and I don't know if this is a consistent feature but uh, just be on the watch for that because if you're coming around the corner running up the stairs be sure that you have enough stamina to take out a monster in case he's there but anyways we're going up the very long flight of stairs and um, once you get up there, you'll easily be able to see the fog. It's just in a little hallway in the wall, which is where the door is. And then past there, on the very other end of it, is another item that you can pick up. So please don't forget about that. But anyways, we've made it to the top of the stairs. And then in our next video, you'll see us fight the boss. So please like or subscribe us, and then we will see you then on Friday.